Hey guys, Nick here with Nightlife Kennel. I want to make this video talk about the four levels of becoming a houndsman. Uh, but before we get into this, I want to go ahead and say a few things. One, some of these terms I've come up with to identify these four levels, I don't want them to come across as being offensive to anybody because uh, they're not they're not meant to be offensive at all. Um, some of these things, when I when I say these, every single person who's ever got into any kind of dog hunting and made it through the four levels have, has went through these phases. I went through every single one of these phases myself. Um, and I'm sure if you hound hunt of any kind, whether you coon hunt, bear hunt, um, chase deer, you know, if you're a rabbit hunter, whatever it is, if you deal with hounds, you've gone through these four phases as well yourself, or you're going through them right now. Currently, I'm smack dab in the middle. Um, so I just want to go ahead and say right now, this is not meant to be derogatory in any way. Every single person out there that's run dogs has gone through these phases at one point in time. And also I want to talk about too, um, these phases don't just apply to hound hunting. I see these phases that also apply to uh, deer hunting. If you're, you know, like to rifle hunt, bow hunt, if you're a bear hunter, if you want to, you know, big game hunting in Africa and things like this, all these phases kind of seem to go through with any type of hunting, even fishing as well. So we'll go ahead and get into the four main phases that I see that develops through people as they become a houndsman. Now, the first off we talk about is being just a novice. You're brand new to the sport. Um, doesn't really matter your age. You just now maybe discover coon hunting. You're just now getting into it. Uh, then is the ob obsessed phase of being a houndsman. Um, you've got into it. you got all the gear and stuff, and you're just crazy about it. And then uh, we get into the com content side of being a houndsman. And then the fourth and final one is uh, being a mentor or mentorship. So we're going to go ahead and go through all the different uh, traits that you'll see to help you identify which phase you're in, or maybe you can see the phase that one of your buddies is in and uh, basically go through the goals of what each phase is and what's important to someone when they're in these phases of becoming a houndsman. So hope you enjoy. All right. So we're going to get into these four levels of becoming a houndsman. Now, as I stated before, we start with being a novice, obsessed, content, and then mentorship. That's our four phases. So we're going to get into the novice. Basically, the novice, you're brand new to this. It doesn't regardlessly matter what your age is. You could be 12, you could be 30, but you just found out about hound hunting and you want to get into it. And that's all you know is you want to do this. So you're looking into um, finding a dog, finding some gear you can afford, uh, making sure you got a dog box, place to keep your dog, land to hunt on. You're just kind of in that phase of rounding up everything you need to get in the woods and your main goal when you're a novice is just getting in the woods and running a dog it's not necessarily tagging out it's not uh hunting certain states or anything you just want the stuff and you want to get in the woods and you want to experience it more and more and more and that is the novice phase of becoming a houseman now your second phase of becoming a houseman is obsessed now i say that being obsessed it may sound like a negative term but it's not we've all gone through this if you've been hunting at any length of time basically you've got all the gear you need you got in the woods and you had some success and now you're obsessed with it all you want to do is hunt six seven nights a week you want the latest and greatest piece of equipment you can get a hold of if the one you have gets a year old and something new comes out you're selling that one to get this you want the biggest and best fastest dog you can get your hands on um you want to hunt like i said six seven nights a week you want to show off pictures and videos on instagram you want to show everybody that you've got this figured out competitive side has come out and you're wanting to show everybody hey i've got this figured out and i'm doing well maybe you're starting to hit the night hunts you're starting to put your dog in hunts win a little money night champion grand night your dog out so on and so forth and you're just completely obsessed and wrapped up with this some other traits now this could be negative traits to this is you actually are willing to shirk some of the responsibilities of your day-to-day -day life like work relationships this that and the other telling people you're going to be there for something just to go hunting. I found me doing this myself. You know, I would have stayed out super late and then the next day at work, you know, I just wasn't worth killing there for a few hours. It took me a long time to get woke up and get going. So that's a side effect to the obsessed side. You hunt and you obsess over it so much, it can actually become a little bit unhealthy to the day-to-day -day operations of your life. But that's the obsessed phase. And then the third phase of becoming a houndsman is the content phase. And this is the phase I feel like I'm in currently right now. And basically what it is, 
you've you've been there you've done that you've owned the latest and greatest equipment uh, maybe some of the equipment you have now is three or four years old because you don't care about getting the brand newest thing uh, maybe the dogs you have are getting a little bit older up in age and you know maybe they're not as fast as best as they used to be but you just really don't care you might not hunt six or seven nights a week but you're still getting out there hunting several nights a week and hunting when you can um, but you know the fact that you're out there hunting doesn't interfere with you going to church you going to work or upsetting your wife that you that's you know, all you're ever doing and you're just really content with with getting out there and doing it just for the pleasure of doing it now maybe some of the goals oriented around being content is uh you start to focus on one or two aspects of the actual hunt instead of focus on doing it all um like me myself personally talking i've never really raised a great female hound dog and so i'm really obsessed well i wouldn't say obsessed i'm really goal oriented in a training a really good female dog i really want that just so i could say check that off i was able to do that this is kind of when you're in a content phase if there's anything you didn't get accomplished in the obsessed phase this is where you're going to start checking those off like i said i want a really good female or say uh you never hunt swamps a lot you just want to say hey i had a dog who hunt swamps or they have i've never hunted this particular state i'm gonna save up some money i'm gonna go hunt that state you just get really goal oriented in achieving a few specific things and you don't get wrapped up in achieving everything because you've already been there you've already done it and you got nothing to prove now the fourth phase of becoming a houndsman and i think this is when you really actually become a well-rounded houndsman is the mentor phase basically you've you went through the knowledge phase you got all that out of the way you're obsessed with it, you lived and breathed it 24 7 then you were uh content with it and you was able to check off those last few goals that that's in your box and now the really the main thing you find yourself wanting to do is pass on your knowledge and your experiences to others and this is a phase i find myself transitioning into currently right now i like to take people and show them more and more what's going on especially as i'm starting to click off some of my goals that i was wanting to get accomplished and basically all you really do if you don't get out there and you don't even hunt three or four nights a month you're okay you just really want to pass on your knowledge you you pretty much know everything there is to know you have seen it all um, you know how to work through it and you really just care about taking a kid or somebody that is a novice and getting them to that next phase that's what it's all about the mentorship takes the other phases and helps them move up the ranks and that's what your entire goal is is pass it on you don't want the sport to die and when you're said and gone you want to know that you left something behind and you help somebody else move up the ranks to being a houndsman now of course through this whole thing you learn how to train dogs you learn different ways of dealing with uh different aspects of training hounds how to take care of their health how to take care of them mentally how to take care of them in the woods how to train them not run junk to run certain things all those things come through these four phases of becoming a houndsman a well-rounded houndsman but uh, generally you know when you get up in life and you've been hunting for 20 plus years you'll see yourself in that mentor phase and you'll want to find somebody who's new to this and pass it along to them and i feel like that's the phase i'm getting into i know uh when i was in the obsessed phase i had a really good mentor ken bishop i've had my cousin john gilbert he's helped me with a lot of things um, i'm definitely in the content phase now i feel like i'm moving into the mentor phase i want to take more kids i want to take my cousins hunting and stuff like that and uh this is the natural progression of becoming a houndsman and anybody who's watching this no matter what phase you're in right now the end goal is to become a mentor because if you don't take somebody, you don't show them the ropes, and you don't pass this along, when you're dead and gone, this sport may die if people don't pass this along. So I hope this helped you out. I hope uh, this you know makes some sense to you guys. Maybe you guys can identify where you stand in this phase. Maybe you know now where the next phase is down the road and what you need to do to get there. So I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you don't mind, hit that like button down there, that thumbs up. Also, share and tell your friends about this video. If you hadn't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, we're not live kennel. We're just trying to help houndsmen be educated, entertained, and evolve one video at a time, just like this video right here. So we appreciate you guys. We love you. In the meantime, trade one for us.